Trying to make it not so crooked. Okay, good. I got it not so crooked. Oh, that was horrible in the beginning. Horrible, horrible. I have a shadow today. My my light is too far away. Let's see what's going on with that. Is that better? That's better. Okay, hello, ladies. <laughs> How are you? I'm sorry for the little interruption there. Have to get everything all straight. So this is a card we're going to make today. Hello, Denise. Look. Unfold. Only the one we make today, I'm going to try and make straight. This one is not straight at all. At all. So, you know. It is what it is. It's still super cute. It's just not straight. <laughs> hey, Mary. So, this is the one. But we're going to make it in different colors. So, this DSP right here is the um, Artistry Blooms. And I think it's really cute. So, I got a different piece of Artistry Blooms. And we're going to make it in that color scheme. Okay? And who doesn't need more birthday cards? Like, even today, I had a team member, and we so completely missed her birthday. And I feel bad. So, uh, I have a birthday card already in the mail. I mean, it's in the envelope already ready to be mailed to her. But I looked today, and I was like, oh, dang. She just joined the team, like, on the... End of January, and now her birthday is the 2nd of February, and I didn't get her added to the list. So, my apologies. I sent her a super cute card, though. So, she should like it. Okay. So, this is what we're going to make today. Today, we're going to use the Hey Birthday Chick stamp set. The Hey Birthday Chick is in the catalog, and now... Not in the catalog, but it has dies that go with it that cut out all sorts of things. It cuts out the chicken. It cuts out this little piece of streamer. It cuts out... Wait for it. This adorable happy birthday... That I put on adhesive sheets. Happy birthday! There's my little streamer. Oh, see, there's still a streamer stuck in here. We're gonna need that later. Cuts out all the different chickens. It has a die for um a fence. I could, my, my dies aren't staying where they're supposed to stay. There's a die for a fence. There's a die to put. There's a feed sack, and then there's a die to put chicken scratch. Is that like on the on the ground? Is that what that's for? I don't know. And then there's a super creepy chicken. Super creepy chickadee. That chickadee. I mean, while it looks creepy there, hang on, I'm going to cut it out for you. You think it looks creepy there? Wait until I cut it out. One moment, please. There's our super creepy chicken die. You know, they knocked it out of the part with this with the stamp set and the dies that mostly go with it. I have no idea what in the world is going on with this. You know what I do know? He's not going on my card. That's what I do know. I guess, you know, everybody can't like everything. Anyway, stamp said super. There's even confetti. We're going to use it. We are going to use it. Okay. So, we are going to start with this base. Okay? So, this base not scored. It is four and a quarter by eight and three quarters. All the measurements will be <gasps> on my blog. Imagine that. Oh, 
what was scored. You just couldn't see it. Five and a half. Five and a half. Okay. I have a blog. Attention, everybody. Sandra has a blog. Um, ink stamp love luv dot com. No spaces, no nothing. Ink stamp love dot com. Look me up. So, okay. So, eight and three quarters by four and a quarter scored at five and a half. This one is Knight of Navy. And then we have Coastal Cabana. And it is three and a quarter by five by four and a half, I think. Three and a quarter by four and a half. It is. Three and a quarter by four and a half. He goes there. Okay. Hey Patsy. This one, the Granny Apple Green, is three by eight and a half. Scored at four and a quarter. So he's gonna go there. Okay, our little piece of DSP is three by four, and it goes right there, okay? And then we have two pieces of, I only have one piece, where's my other piece? I've lost a piece of paper, I've lost it, it's gone, I'll have to cut another one, because I need to. It is, anyway... Two and three quarters by four. And I do need two of them. And I don't think that this is it. I think these are scraps. Yep, they're not quite big enough. Okay. Pause for a commercial delay. Well, I cut another piece of paper. So let's talk celebration. You want to talk celebration? So now through the end of the month. End of February is celebration. And during celebration, when you order $50 worth of merchandise, you get, what do you get? You get free stuff. Everybody loves free stuff. So you get free stuff. Okay? There's stamp sets. There's paper. There's all sorts of stuff. Okay. Hey, Jenny. And my sister's watching. Hey, sister. Um. Okay. So we are going to stamp... On these two pieces, well, we're going to stamp on that too, but, so on this little guy, we're going to stamp this little egg, this little guy coming out of the egg, he's going to go over here on the inside of the card, because he's just super cute, then on the outside, we're going to stamp this crazy chicken with his cupcake, because every chicken needs a cupcake. Am I right? <laughs> I don't have any good commercials, Patsy. I don't even watch TV. I don't have cable. I don't. Don't have cable. I did get a good offer on internet today, though. A friend of mine is working for a new company, and he's going to come install internet at my house for a fraction of the cost of what I'm paying. So we're going to color this little guy on the inside. And we are going to use, first we're going to use Pool Party. And I know it sounds crazy, but I'm going to color this egg. Just, I'm going to outline the egg with Pool Party. Just to make the white part of it pop more. Because it should pop more. And then I get my color lifter out and just kind of go around it to blend it. Okay, that's all I do with that. And then I'm going to use the So Saffron blend because I just want this chicken to just kind of be, he's a baby. He's not going to be a bright colored chicken. He's a light colored chicken. And then I'm going to get my pumpkin pie and I am going to, oh, but the Super Bowl's coming out, right? Super Bowl's on Sunday. You can find some good commercials on Super Bowl, right? What's the best Super Bowl commercial you ever saw? I'm thinking mine was with the Clyde. The one I like the best was with the Clydesdales. Celebration's a good commercial. I love Celebration. I love free stuff. Let's see. We're going to use 
Um, Bermuda Bay, where's a little hat up here? Bermuda Bay. Do we have a Coastal Cabana marker? Mm, no. No Coastal Cabana. So, we'll do Dark Pool Party. And finish coloring his hat. Okay, so there's his hat. Now I'm going to put a little piece... Um, well, tell Lex to turn the TV down and come and watch me. Jenny. So, I'm just going to put a little um, ground down here. Okay? Don't overthink it. Just do it. It's just like a little shadow. Okay? Well, I got this out. I can do the shadow underneath him, too. It's just a shadow. There's nothing special about it. Nothing special about it. Okay, so this chicken on the outside, he's going to be a little bit darker. I'll use Daffodil Delight. And color most of this chicken. Because he's adorable. Okay, so website. Let's talk about my website. Doritos. Dorito. Well, was the one... Was the commercial with nothing but net? That was the super. That was the Super Bowl commercial, wasn't it? That was Magic and Larry Bird. Nothing but net. Wasn't that a Super Bowl commercial? I know it was. A, wasn't it a McDonald's commercial? I think. I don't even remember. I remember nothing but net. That's all I got. Maybe this was not the right color for the chicken. Oh well, whatever. Let's see, we're going to put some uh, Bermuda Bay in his hair and some Granny Apple Green. He's a funky colored chicken. He's a funky chicken. That's a song. Is that a song? Do the funky chicken. That green doesn't show up very green on that yellow. Oh well. He's a funky chicken. He's a funky chicken. I think the person who gets this card will still like it. What do you think? Especially when they see that it's a fun fold. Because everybody likes a fun fold. Hang on a second. We'll put the fun fold together. I'll show you how. Okay. Ink. Stamplove.com. Look me up. Subscribe to my um, blog thing, and then every time I post a blog with directions for a card or any time I post um, things, sales that we got going on, Stampin' Up's got going on, you will see it. You will get an email that says, hey, Sandra posted something. You should go look. How about that? So... Okay, so here's our funky chicken. Funky chicken. You know what? I'm in a good mood. It is Friday Eve. Right? That's what we call it here. That's what I call it. Okay. So these little guys are streamers. Look at how cute they are. They're just dyes. Whoop, whoop. Settle down. They just hit the screen. I hit the whole thing. Okay. Sorry if I made you dizzy. Okay. So, we are going to... I used adhesive sheets. So, that means they're sticky on the back. Do you guys know about adhesive sheets? Adhesive sheets are the bomb. So, I'm going to put it over here on the corner, and I'm going to try to make it line up over here before it sticks down. Okay, that's good, that's good, good, good. And then I have one, this is uh, Granny Apple Green and then this one is Coastal Cabana. So you just pull the backing off and it's sticky, it's like a sticker now. Love it. So here's what I think I learned from the last one. Well, I thought I learned it. 
I want a space up there to put the happy birthdays. It's still going to cover it a little bit. That's okay. Okay. So now all of my happy birthdays are on um, uh, adhesive sheets too. So I'm going to stack them up here. I'm going to have the black on the bottom. And get all these pieces out of here. Do I need to show you how to use adhe adhesive sheets? Or do you all know? Let me know. I'll show you if, I, if, if that's something you need to know. I will show you because they are so awesome. They're really easy. Do we want the blue on the top or the green on I think I put the blue on the top. It's not blue at all. It is Coastal Cabana. It's not blue. I mean, it's a shade of blue. But, you know, I gotta call it the right. Words matter. I gotta call it the right word. I do technical writing for a living. So that's one of the things I say at work is words matter. <laughs> you have to use the right word for things because I can't say the thing, turn on the thing. I have to say, turn on the computer network or turn on the what, whatever it is. I can't say turn on the thing because that's not technical, right? I'm a technical, that looks pretty. But then we're going to put the blue one on top, too. Let's see. Maybe. Let's see if it looks pretty. Before I nail it down. Get the little guy out of the A. Oh, yeah. It's cute. We'll line them all up there. Okay, happy birthday. It's going to go right there. On the top. Oh, so, Patsy, they're not colored. Hang on just a second. I'll show you. Okay, Patsy? I'll show you the adhesive sheets. think. Can I get these up? Oh well. It's just going to go right here. Up here in the corner. Happy birthday! I think there was a better way to do that, but I'll figure it out later. Okay, so this guy's going to go on here. So this piece was eight and a half by three and a by three. So he's going to go on top. I'm going to use liquid glue so I don't, in case I don't get it straight. Since that's what happened to me earlier. I didn't get it straight. I didn't get anything straight. Okay. He's almost straight. Okay, and then this little guy's going to go in the middle. I'll, I won't forget, Patsy. I'm going to show you adhesive sheets. So here you have like a little bitty card. Okay? And then over here, I need to stamp on this at least... Let's see if we can see it. I'm going to, for some texture, I think I'm going to stamp. Oh, yeah. I'm going to stamp the confetti all over the outside of this. Can you see it? See the confetti? Just for a little bit of something so it's just not blank cardstock. And you know what I found? I'm going to do it on this piece, too, because it seems kind of empty when you open it up. So we'll just put confetti over here. It is random. I mean, it's confetti, right? Oops. 
I let go of my paper. Okay. So there's that. I'm going to close this because nobody wants Night of Navy ink all over. Okay. So this guy's going to go right here. Okay. And again, I'm going to use um, the liquid glue so I don't mess it up. Okay. Let's see if we can get it straight. I think I got it straight. Look, my card's sticky. Hang on, I have an eraser for that. If I can find the eraser. I can feel it. Everybody needs a glue eraser. I got mine at the dollar store. Since Stampin' Up! doesn't sell one, so I got it at the dollar store. Okay. Then this piece right here, we're just going to add our designer series paper. That side's pretty too, but not for this card. Right here on the outside. That's all that is. And so, there's our card. Wait! We need bling. Because every card needs bling. These are the Artistry Blooms Sequins Self-Adhesive Sequins. Look at how pretty they match. There. Now it's even better. So there you go. That's our fun fold for today. Super easy, and all uh, I will put all of the directions. First, I will put them in the description of the video. I will put them in the description of the YouTube video, and then I will put them on my blog. So, if you guys want to look me up, inkstamplove.com, you can subscribe to my blog, and you'll get a video every time I post a blog. And um, it's brand new. I, there's one blog post on it for one of our fun folds that we did the other day. And let's see, what else can I tell you? What else can I tell you? Don't forget about celebration. Wait, Patsy, I hope you're still hanging on. Let me show you about adhesive sheets. So these are, these are Stampin' Up! adhesive sheets, okay? These are, it's like 6 by 12. Yep, they're 6 by 12. There's 10, 12 sheets in a pack. That's a lot of adhesive. Let me show you how they work. You take your piece of cardstock, whatever it is that you want to be sticky. Let's use this piece. Let's use. I need a piece. Let me find a good one. Okay, we can use this one. Okay. So. You have to get the backing off. There's two sides of it. You can. There's two ways you can do it. You can just pull this piece off, and it's see it's sticky right here, okay. Or you can pull the backing off. You can kind of roll it down, and then it's sticky right there, okay. So depending on what size of paper you have to make sticky. Um, you, you can do it either way. So, um, you lay your paper, so that's sticky, right, Patsy? So you're going to lay your paper right on there. I, I don't do anything with that paper. I go like that, so now it's, this part's going to be sticky, okay? And then I cut that off with my big honking scissors. If you if you close that back with that protective covering there, your stick your scissors won't get sticky. That's why I leave that there. Okay? So voila, this is not stuck to anything anymore. Okay? You still have half of an adhesive sheet left. But now all of this is sticky. So let's say you cut out your happy birthday 
Now, when you peel the backing off, your happy birthday is going to be like a sticker. That's all there is to it. It's super easy and super helpful for anything that is intricate, you know, that you don't want to get glue all over everything when you use it. So, yeah, for things like this, it's perfect. So, there you go. There's your lesson 101 on adhesive sheets. How to use adhesive sheets. Did that help, Patsy? And they are... I don't think they're that expensive. Hang on, let's look and see how much they are. Like I said, you get 12 of them and they're 6 by 12. So that's a lot of... That's a lot of adhesive. Page 162. Look, I got the whole thing all tabbed out. I still can't find anything. Adhesive sheets. It's $10. $10 for 12 sheets. So that's not bad at all. Yep, you need to get some, Patsy. So with your discount, since you're a demonstrator, they're even cheaper than that. They're not $10. It's even less than that. So go get some. Put some on your next order. Okay, so that's all I got for you today is our happy birthday chick fun fold in pink and in blue. And this is the Artistry Blooms paper. So I hope you enjoyed the video. So now I'm going to post the video. So the video will be posted today. Tomorrow I will post a blog about it. Okay? So that's the way I'm going to do things. I'll do a video one day and a blog the next day. Because otherwise I am going to completely burn myself out. And nobody wants that, especially me. So I will see you guys on Saturday. Okay? So I hope you come and hang out with me on Saturday, okay? Thanks for hanging out with me today.